going to try to be a little, if you will, edgy in this, this homily. I'm just going to begin by saying, the Lord be with you. <laughs> Lift up your hearts. <laughs> Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. We say that every Mass. And yet, it's a reminder to us of the importance of giving the Lord thanks and praise. Now, here we are, Thanksgiving 2022. And I'm trying to get my, my head around this one so I'm not being a little edgy. I believe that as long as my, my 26 years as a priest, this is the time we, the people of God, need to be living in a supernatural lifestyle that really call upon the Holy Spirit of life because we won't be a people who give thanks and praise because the pressure of the world and the culture is filling us with fear and anxiety. Now follow me on this. You know, just last night I had the opportunity to watch the, 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 the news. And the news were, was, was killing shootings, not just in one part of the country, but all over the country. And you know, we got the war in Ukraine, we got so many terrible things happening. And if I fill myself with that, and I let myself be formed like this, I'm going to Romans 12, um, 12 too. Do not let your minds be conformed to this age, but let it be for you. So we as a people can get bogged down with this fear and this anxiety and robs us of joy, robs us of the, the desire to give thanks and praise, and robs us of being a people of hope. Now what does this world need right now? We are against Jesus, but they need hope. And so we're letting ourselves be formed by many. We're letting ourselves be formed by what we're reading and getting caught up into. Now, if we can get into a habit of really giving God thanks and praise, it defeats the negative and anxiety. You know, if we really become a people full of gratitude. See, what happens when you're caught up with the fear and the anxiety and the garbage of the world? It robs us from seeing the good that's happening. And it would be hard to probably to accept this statement that I'm about to happen to me, but I am confident there is more good happening in the world than bad. There is so much more that God's kingdom is being advanced than being destroyed. But if we're caught up in this media frenzy of all the negative things, Bad. And we're not doing it's going to happen. But why we need to live a supernatural lifestyle is because we, the followers of Jesus, are, are called to advance the kingdom of goodness, of beauty and truth. We're called to, to really be a, a people of hope for the world. And what funnels that, what feeds that, is a people that give thanks and praise to God. Does that make sense to you? The more I give thanks and praise to God, not just on Thanksgiving Day, but as a culture of giving thanks and praise, to really root myself in being a, having a heart full of gratitude for well, my God and the abundant blessings, then yes, you know, I'll still be able to, to see all the garbage that's going on in the world in 2022, but it's not going to define the world now. Living in a supernatural lifestyle, I'm defined as a son of the Lord of God. And I rise above the garbage and focus on the good. That's all around us. And maybe we just don't see it because we're so bogged down by not giving thanks and praise. So for example, let me just look at this, this, this beautiful power we have. There's so much good that goes on that we need to give constant thanks to them. You know, we have the Duffies right in the front row here, and they're a ministry to the poor, the poorest and poor, with an army of poor Christians and beyond, to serve every day, exactly, right, they get off, to go into the city and bring the poor. Don't you think that totally outweighs what we see on TV? Yes. But we can miss it and get focused on the negative. You know, I was just talking to a couple of our young adult community. They were with the 
people at large last night. Um, and and there, were, there was an island bringing food to the poor. Again, we can lose the goodness that's going on. Not thank God for the young adults and not thank God for, for all the good that's taking place. Of course, we're bogged down by the negative. You know, life changing and we have a given tree. You know, so, so people who won't have for Christmas, they will be able to provide for this for the kids. There's so much good. You know, the educational system we have on this campus with St. Mary's and even our religious ed. Amazing volunteers. You know, this beautiful choir. There's so much. The St. Vincent of Paul, the Knights of Columbus. There's so much good going on. But why do we need to live in the supernatural? So that we can see it. If we live being formed by the world, we'll never give thanks and praise. And yet we are told in our liturgy that it is right and just. So my brothers and sisters, today we come to see the Holy Communion at this Mass, where we come to give thanks. And Eucharist means thanksgiving. And so we, we have this opportunity to say, Lord, don't let me be bogged down by the world. But let me have a heart full of gratitude. And the way it all begins, my brothers and sisters, is inviting the Lord Jesus into your heart. Stay focused on him. Ask for his Holy Spirit. And live as a supernatural lifestyle that all of us are called to live. God bless you.